I'm uh, part of a five-generation ranch. We've been a ranching family all of our life. My great-grandfather came here. He was just young. He, didn't, he could remember the buffalo coming through. He used to tell my dad stories. Since I was little, I big chief tablets, had those big pencils, anything I could get my hands on. I even used to draw on those cardboard things that, for the shirts, you know, and, and my mom would save those for me because they were hard, like cardboard a little bit, and I would draw with on those. And when I got in college, I did some drawings and I had a couple of people tell me, you know, you should maybe try to pursue this a little bit because you might be onto something. But, you know, years ago, when I was much younger, uh, art was something you did when you were just looking for a hobby or sitting around at night, you know, s scratching around a little bit. It wasn't really taken serious because, you know, uh, it just wasn't. But I persevered and I got out of college and I came home and I printed a couple of drawings and, and you know, I didn't sell a lot of them because I didn't have a, uh, um, you know, clientele base yet. And that was before, you know, internet stuff and, and emails and, you know, it was basically phone numbers and addresses back in the early 80s. And then as time went on, I started accumulating all these addresses and then I started sending out brochures and slowly started building it up and building up my, my uh, you know, clientele, my fan base, and, and kind of went from there. And I think to this day, I think I've sold out probably about 22 or 23 editions, limited editions of prints and, and a lot of originals. I've never done a lot of really, you know, extensive art shows. I've done art shows, but, uh, you know, most of my originals are sold privately. Now with social media, you know, you can, with, you know, with virtually no advertising costs, you can get a lot of airplay. And so that's kind of it in a nutshell, hi, you know, and just hours and hours and hours in the studio. And then finally, my dad was the last one to jump on the train <laughs> because, well, you know, ranchers, you know, I played music too, all, all these years, guitar and stuff, and, you know, ranchers just don't do stuff like that, all right? They're supposed to get up and go work on a windmill or ride horseback, which I did anyway. But it was hard for him because I was not a, a, a complete clone of him. I loved the ranch way of life and cattle and everything, but I had other, other callings from the good Lord as well. And so I've, I pursued those and I'm glad that I, that I have. The art, uh, also I've never really had any formal training, but I've studied other people's work because you you have to study other people's work or you're a fool and take advice from other folks as well. It just hits you sometimes. Sometimes you'll plant a seed in your mind about a, about a, a, a layout. Like for instance, that drawing that I did, uh, Line Camp Comfort uh, with the Bible, good friend of mine in there, God rest his soul, Bill Baker. Uh, in fact, this drawing up here is of him as well, holding the rope. And, uh, you know, it just, you have these ideas in your head. And there's another drawing that I have in my mind that I never have completed. I've completed it in my mind, but of an elderly woman uh, praying over a Bible, which would, if I would have released both of those at the same time, it probably would have even been better. And uh, people, they, they, they get a peaceful feeling from that print, and to this day I have inquiries on it. You listen to people, you listen to other people that, uh, that, that know stuff, and um, you know, you don't have to want to be a clone of anybody, but you listen to them. And that, that's important, and now I'm fortunate enough to where some people are listening to me, uh, some younger, people that, that want to learn and, and I do not hide any of the techniques that I, that I have learned the hard way uh, through OJT, on-the-job training. I, 
you know, I'm, I, I share anything that I can with anybody to help shorten their time if they're serious. Every child uses a pencil when they start school. You know, what fascinates people is what can be done with one. Uh, now, I'm certainly not saying that I'm the best or the worst. I'm in there and, and you know, there's a lot of really good pencil artists, graphite artists, whatever you want to call them. I like the word pencil because it's just, it is a pencil. Uh, but I just kept going with that. And I also worked in some pen and ink. I've painted with oils. Uh, I would probably do me good to do a, a short course uh, in painting. I live by a philosophy told uh, to me by a good friend by the name of Larry Manichi that's a really good painter from Arizona. He said, always remember when you're starting with the medium or whatever, small painting, small mistake, big painting, big mistake. My philosophy is to do one good piece that will stop people and turn their head to look at it as opposed to doing two or three pieces that they might find attractive but keep going. All right, so with pencil, you don't have the luxury of color. So you gotta use contrast. You gotta use everything in your arsenal to stop them and get them to look at that piece, okay? All right, and uh, it takes an enormous amount of time uh, if you have a lot of, a lot of highly detailed stuff. The longest drawing, uh, to date is uh, 375 hours. I love Western wildlife. It's, it's part of who I am. I'm not just a die hard cowboy art, no. A lot of my art is elk and deer and antelope and all kinds of stuff. In fact, I'm getting ready to draw a mountain lion before long. I think back on the history of the ranch and what growing up and, and, the, and the hard times and the good times, and unfortunately with the home ranch, uh, Recently, we, were, we had to list it because of disagreements within the, the parties. And my sister and I are, are extremely opposed because that's our home where we were born and raised. And God never runs out of miracles. And I believe one is coming in some form to where we can save a five generation legacy. And that's, that's what I'd really like to do. And that's what I pray for daily. All right, because there's a lot at stake, a lot of history. Uh, unfortunately, when my dad died, that left me as the only one that really knows uh, some extensive history about the ranch uh, and a lot of facts and, and stories and things that have, have occurred through the years. And you're looking at the last of them right here. And it, it all, it all gets poured into that art in one way or another. And I hope that my art is looked at by my subjects and those associated with that way of life and say that is correct. And I've been fortunate enough because I'm steeped in it to where uh, I've had some really, really knowledgeable people enjoy my work and consider it accurate. And so, you know, and the party's not over yet. The journey's not over yet. I, I hope God keeps me here a lot longer and I'm able to produce a lot more work and, and even better work, I hope.